<laughs> that is some dedication. Yes, I mean, we, we called it hardcore. I mean, can you imagine playing the instruments in this cold? I, I mean, mean that's, that's dedication. I would even, my body would not even cooperate, <laughs> you know? It's, it's so cold that's out you there. Gotta move. I, well, I, you know, that's for after the show. <laughs> 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 well, we got about 10 more minutes left with you guys here. Hey, let's quickly talk about the forecast across Northeast Ohio for your Saturday evening, folks. I don't know if you're going out tonight. I don't know if you're starting your Sunday early, but whatever you do, you want to brave the cold and brave it in the best way possible. Here's a live look at satellite and radar right now. We finally turned off the lake with this great news for us here, but we do have some strong breezy winds coming in out of the southwest. This is indicative because the high pressure system is moving closer to the area. Despite that happening, though we're still bringing in all that cold air it feels like teens out there across northeast Ohio tonight 14 you can see for our friends in Elyria and also down in Akron Kenton Worcester feels like 14 also with Mansfield 26 for you Dover pretty calm winds down there for you and over in Youngstown it feels like 11 degrees for those for those people there as far as surface temperatures right now they're kind of hanging out in the mid to low 20s but what's going to happen overnight tonight will clear the sky out We'll keep these winds coming out of the southwest, and I think they're going to elevate our temperatures just a little bit prior to sunrise, likely coming close to about 30 degrees, roughly around 8 a.m. for tomorrow. So what am I tracking for tonight? Well, we have a couple of systems coming through uh, early next week as we close out February and we open up March. And once we get into the first few days of March, we have a couple of systems to watch as well. As I said in the 6 p.m., they're kind of quirky, a little bit offbeat, but they're nothing near what we've been experiencing for the past month or so. So there's high pressure right now. We do have some energy really churning there in the Arklatex region. We have sort of a surface, uh, surface low that's really bringing some shower activity, even some ice back towards central Arkansas. But overall, the country is mostly quiet at this hour, and at least for the next several hours, it's likely going to be quiet for us as well. High temperatures nearing 40 degrees for our Sunday. I think it is possible once we get the frontal boundary to move through tomorrow afternoon. I think late afternoon, early evening, we could spark off some flurries because we'll get the southwest wind changing to the northwest coming over that warmer lake. Cold air is likely going to cause a little bit of snare for us here. So here's the broader scope you can see on your national design mart as we look in the days ahead. For the most part, again, Monday, Tuesday looks mostly fine. Once we start to set back up a trough system to kind of pull in some activity, I think by Wednesday we could spark off a stray snow shower in the afternoon and then boom, yet another one's coming in. This is luckily going to be a quick moving one. Not going to be an all out major snow event, but we're going to keep an eye on it for you. As far as that 10 day forecast, take a look at this. This is your Union Home Mortgage now showing that we have near average temperatures for tomorrow, partly cloudy by Monday, Tuesday, mid 40s. We come down just a little bit. You can see there, Lena, by Thursday, there's that scattered mix. But look at this 50s and maybe even 60s. Oh, we'll all be dancing. I know, right? <laughs> that looks good to me. Thanks, Jason. Uh -huh.